in this video we are going to see a problem on uh, worst and best best equivalent pull up or pull down resistance input patterns so the problem is implement the equation x is equal to a bar plus b bar into c bar plus d bar plus e bar plus f bar the whole bar into g bar using complementary cmos size the devices so that the output resistance is same as that of the in inverter with an n mos w by l values is equal to 2 and uh, p mos w by l values should be equal to 6 with this uh, with the input pattern would give the worst and uh, the best equivalent uh, pull up or pull down resistance so here uh, I am going to take the whole bar for this uh, whole equation. If I take the uh, whole bar, um, I am going to take the whole bar. If I take the uh, whole bar, uh, you know the D Morgan's law, I will get uh, A bar plus B bar, the whole bar is equal to AB. So I will get AB plus. Uh, for this one uh, you will get whole bar and the plus becomes uh, um, dot f the double bar plus g double bar okay so here i can replace this one as c d e and f double bar is equal to f uh, and g double bar is equal to g so i'm going to bring this f uh, to the to this one so i will get a b f plus c d e f plus g so my x is equal to a b f plus c d e f plus g the whole bar so i am going to implement this equation now using n mass so this is a a b since it is in series uh, it is nothing but uh, multiplication a b into f ok similarly you have c d and e c d and e ok so c d is on multiplication series so it is multiplication uh, c d e f ok so this is a b f uh, since since the, these two are in parallel so it is in addition a b and a b plus c d e ok so that has to be added with your g So this is your output. What is the output? A B plus C D E into F plus G the whole bar. Okay. So what is this one? That is nothing but your X. Okay, this is nothing but your X. So this is what I want to implement. X only I want to implement. So since this two are in series you have to convert that one to parallel for p mos a b and this two are in this is also in series so we have to convert into parallel c d e So, A, B are in series, so it is parallel. So, this is series, so this is parallel. And uh, for this one, this is in series, so I need to connect uh, F in parallel. okay so for this one uh, g is in uh, for this one g is in for this entire term 
uh, is uh, in parallel with G. So, I am going to connect uh, this one in series. Okay. So, they have given uh, from uh, output to the input n mass value. n mass value is nothing but 2 and p mass value is uh, uh, nothing but 6. Okay. So, this value is uh, nothing but 2. Okay. From the output to the ground. So, I need to get the value of uh, this 2 transistor must be in uh, 2. Okay. That is um, uh, addition of these two transistors. So, if suppose this is uh, Rx uh, and this is uh, Ry, okay. So, this Rx uh, plus uh, Rx, plus Ry that is equal to um, R by 2, okay. This is what uh, I need to get. So, I am going to convert uh, so, I am going to make this uh, Rxx R by 4, R by 4 plus R by 4, I will get R by 2, so, okay. So, now, so since uh, this is R by 4, the K value of Ry is uh, nothing but uh, 4, okay. This is 4 and uh, this one also is uh, nothing but 4. The entire value is 4 okay so if the entire value is 4 means uh, let me term this one as rc rd and re okay so rc plus rd plus re that is equal to r by 4 okay so what will be my value r by k plus r by k plus uh, r by k that should be equal to r by 4. So, 3 r by k uh, equal to r by 4. So, my k value is 12. Okay. So, this is nothing but 12, 12 and 12. Okay. So, if this entire value is 4 means uh, this value also should be 4. Okay. So, therefore, I am having r a plus r b uh, that is equal to r by 4. Okay, so this is nothing but R by K plus R by K that is equal to R by 4. So 2 R by K is equal to R by 4. So therefore the K value is uh, 8. Okay, so the K value is 8. So this is the size of the transistor 8, 8, 4, 12, 12, 12 and 2. So now the for this uh, now I am going for uh, the P mass. Okay. So they have given the N P mass value is uh, six. Okay. So. Here it is 2 R, so this uh, so this is nothing but 2 R by 6, okay. So that is equal to R F plus uh, R G, okay. Why I am giving uh, P mass, this is nothing but 2 R by K, okay, 2 R by K. So, instead of R, you have to write it as 2 R, this is as, uh, sorry, this must be 3 R. Okay. So, this is nothing but uh, R by 2, okay. So, what will be my value of uh, this one? Uh, this has to be uh, R by K plus R by K uh, 
sorry this two r by k two r by k that is equal to r by two okay so four r by k is equal to r by two so my k value is nothing but eight This has to be 3R by K. Okay. 3R by K, 3R by K. So this is nothing but 6R by K. So therefore, it must be 12. Okay. What I am doing is, um, since this two transistors are in series, so the resistance are in the resistance you have to add RF plus RG. So they have given. Um, uh, the k value of p mass p mass uh, w by l values that is k value is 6 okay so 3 r by k why i am giving 3 r means uh, so if you see the relation between n mass and p mass n mass w by l value is 2 okay so the multiplication of uh, 2 into 3 will give 6 so i am giving 3 r by k okay so so if i substitute 6 uh, that should be r by 2 so here um, instead of r by k i am giving 3 r by k for p mass since it is p mass so 3 r by k plus 3 r by k that is should be equal to r by 2 so if i solve i will get 6 r by k uh, equal to r by 2 so uh, k value is 12 now so i am going to substitute 12 so if this is 12 this also should be 12 okay this also should be 12 but uh, you can see there are two transistor is there from rp to rp plus re that is equal to uh, 3r by 12 am i right rb plus re rb plus re that is equal to 3r by k k value is 12 now so what is rb 3r by k plus 3r by k that is equal to 3r by 12 so this i can write it as 6r by k is equal to 3r by 12 so that is equal to rr get cancelled out uh, it is 2 so k value is 24 okay so now you substitute 24 this is 24 means this is also 24 so if this is 24 this is also 24 this is also 24 and this is also 24 so this is how we have to size the uh, p mass since it is parallel uh, uh, that is uh, same value right okay so if i want uh, you can see this is uh, this is 24 right so r equal sorry r 3r by 12 so 24 3r by 24 is equal to r a right so what is r a r a is 3r by k so 3r by 24 so k value is equal to 24 that is why for a i have substituted 24 Okay. So I have uh, formed the, uh, I have sized the transistor. So if I want to find the best case delay, so best case uh, pull down resistance, best case pull down resistance, best case pull down resistance means this is a pull down uh, circuit. So this is uh, this from output to the grounders your pull down pull down resistance so this may be possible uh, so the the n mass should be turned on if n mass should be turned on means uh, uh, all the transistor value should be one okay uh, the a value should be one b value should be one so you have to find the a path from the output to the ground so 
where are the paths so first uh, let me go for the worst case uh, worst case uh, first case pull up pull down resistance uh, um, from output to ground you have to see so the output to ground uh, you have to select any one one path so let me choose this one okay let me choose this one from the output to ground so if that is the case what is the value of the input uh, resistance uh, input uh, resistance value a b c d e f g so for this one um, a b a to f is 0 and g is 1 if g is 1 means only one uh, this uh, this is active so i can form the path from a, a single path from the output to the input or it may be if uh, c d e f is active also c d f c d e f this is also another other value okay other vectors this is also possible okay the next uh, one is uh, worst case pull up resistance value that is from output to the uh, VDD ok so you have to take the PMAS so if PMAS means uh, F value should be not to turn on uh, that should be 0 ok so if F and G is 0 0 that is a value ok so for F and G is 0 0 f and g is 0 0 means uh, for the rest of the value so, so this is uh, the worst uh, case pull up resistance value ok example vectors otherwise uh, i can go for b e g b e g b e g ok B G, okay. So likewise, you can form a, a path from uh, B G, uh, B D G, B C G, or A C G. So this is your worst case, and uh, this is how we have to form the worst and uh, best worst case pull up and worst case uh, pull down resistance. The best case um, uh, pull down resistance occurs uh, when all the inputs are one. Best case pull down resistance occurs when the A, B, C, D, E, F, G all the values are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So the best case pull up resistance occurs when a b c d values are 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so that's all about the video thank you